Hello and welcome to another 5 Minute Friday. Today we're going to go over selecting tones, transmit tones, on the new KNG 2P150 radios. These are the newest radios we have in district. Uh, most people are just calling them KNG 2s. Then there's the KNGs, which are kind of the middle radios that we have, and then the old school brick style DPH radios. On those radios, the in-between radio, the KNG and the DPH, if you wanted to apply a tone to a particular channel, you could just hit the number on the keypad and it would apply the tone for that channel. So if we hit five, it would apply the transmit tone that was programmed in for channel five to the entire zone. And then when you transmit it out, you'd be transmitting out with that tone. Unfortunately, with these radios, if there's a way to do it in the programming software, I cannot figure out how. And I've gone up and down, left and right, sideways, trying to figure out a way to do it. And it just doesn't seem to exist. I do have some questions out to people that I think might know the answer to that question, whether it's the answer I'm looking for or not. <laughs> I think they'll know the answer. And then I'll get back with you if there's a better way to do it, because it's it's definitely a little bit more cumbersome to do it now. Um, but let's get into it. Let's walk through it. So let me zoom in. And I've got to set the exposure so you can actually see this. Okay, so we're right now we're on channel eight. If you went to a larger incident and actually had a comm plan in your morning IAP, you could go into the comm plan. And if you're supposed to be using tone seven, you could go to channel seven and see what the transmit tone guard is. And let's say it was 136.5. Um, then you want to apply that 136.5 transmit tone guard to channel eight. The way to do that is I've programmed that in as one of the menu features right on the home screen. So you'd select the TXCG stands for transmit code guard. And remember code guards and tone guards are the same thing, just different terminology. Select that menu. Um, look at that. I already applied it. Now, normally when you open this up, it would be up here at the zero or default. That's whatever was programmed into channel eight as the tone guard. In this case, this channel doesn't have anything programmed in already natively. So we want to apply 136.5, hit enter. Now we've applied 136.5 only to channel eight. And just to prove that to you, if I go to channel two, it's still on the default setting. Come back here, select that menu again. It's still on 136.5. So if you leave the channel, it's still applied to that channel. If you want to take it back to whatever it natively was, Go back to zero. Now, whatever was originally programmed into it, and again, you saw this was zero. In other words, it didn't have a transmit tone guard on it. Um, that's been applied again. How else could you do it? You go to an IA, you don't have a comp plan. You know, nothing's been created yet. The IC, when you got on scene says, hey, listen, we're working, they clone your radio, so you have the right frequencies. And they say, we're working on Channel eight on the clone that you've got, tone seven. I think the quickest way to do that is to go over to channel seven, select the transmit code guard menu item, and then you'll see up here the default that's been programmed into that channel's programming is 136.5. So that is the transmit tone guard that's been programmed in. On the old radios, if you were to hit seven on the keypad, it would apply that number, 136.5, as the transmit tone guard when you transmit it out. Okay, so you have to remember 136.5, move over to channel eight, come back down here, select 136.5 and apply it. You could also go into the um, keypad programming menu, six zeros, that's no secret. <laughs> It's so like keypad, we wanna um, look at a channel. We wanna edit that channel so we can actually see it. We're in zone 24. We wanna see uh, channel seven's tone guard because that's the one that we're gonna apply to channel eight eventually. Scroll down until we see transmit guard, hit enter, and you can see it's 136.5 again. So way more difficult to, not way more difficult, but more cumbersome to get it into here and to look at it rather than just going to channel seven, opening up that menu um, and seeing what's been programmed in there. So I know not the best. Um, I wish you could just select it on the key guard um, as it was in the past, but for now that's how we have to do it.
And if something changes and we have a much better way to do it, like just being able to hit the number on the keypad, which kind of makes sense, I will put out another video and let you know that we got that fixed. Thanks for watching.